in this video uh, I'm gonna show you or actually I was doing it for the first time so I wanted to make a video I'm gonna create a, or start backing up my Windows 10 machine um, it in Windows 7 it used to call backup and restore like in Vista from Windows 8 it they started calling it file history um, if you search on Windows 10 for file history you see it takes you to backup settings but you see there is a setting for file history so don't be confused backup is called file history even though they have this thing right here backup that you have to add a drive I'm gonna do this but if we go and search for file history you see restore your files with file history and once you go there and you see it's currently turned off you go there and it shows is off turn on it has to you have to select a network location so add a network location anywhere on your network like a file server you can select it and then um, this um, file history will be turned on uh, that's not our goal for today I want to just add a drive so I have a Western what is it um, I can show you on the um, it's a Western Digital my passport I'm gonna let me go and connect it to my computer let's let me show you my PC see there is nothing connected right now so hopefully it's a plug-and-play and it will not give me tough time so there's the music and there it is so it's their own software I don't want to do that I don't want to you see it's my passport Western Digital if you can see the logo discovery installer I don't want to because uh, it's their own software that backs regularly backs up your files I want to use the uh, built-in Windows uh, 10 backup settings so since it's there you see it's about um, about two terabytes let's go to our backup setting here all it wanted was add a drive and if you click on more option it says see advanced uh, either you can restore from a previous one or if you go to see file history you can turn it on for um, for this device right either file history uh, previously uh, it wanted a network location I am going to just add a device add a drive so basically you search for backup uh, let me show you again you it's Windows 7 there uh, I can show you actually f um, file history if you search file history there's nothing so they started calling uh, backup in uh, in Windows 8 and above file history but in Windows 7 or previous it's still backup you see backup and restore so um, we can backup search for backup here and settings and right there add a drive we can add this drive automatically backup my files it's on if you have an old one like you, you saved you you had saved your files um, um, from Windows 7 or 8 uh, you can restore it all you have to do is just uh, for example if this uh, my passport or this drive was connected to that and that PC had saved their restore um, files on it I could connect it to here and then go from here through this option I could restore everything uh, we can see more options you see so right now at zero the backup size uh, and I have the available uh, disk space I have is about two terabytes I can click is backup now I can tell since I is um, the um, the idea is that this drive will be connected um, permanently until you have to go somewhere and you um, like uh, unhook it and take it with you 
so either it can be every hour or whatever this um, it is is every 10 minutes like how busy you are how many um, files or data you create on your computer that you want to be saved or if it's not that busy you can after every 12 hours so basically uh, um, it will save all of your shift or daily once in 24 hours so it's really up to uh, how productive you are on that computer this is keep my backup forever and these are all the options we can select what folders will be backed up these are all the folders that it's going to back up for me and I can select or exclude uh, for example I don't want music or videos I can exclude that like add a folder and I can exclude the videos choose this folder so you see if you see the video has been removed from here and it has been added here I can also do the same for music I have luckily I don't save any music or videos uh, on my computer unless my son has something so I'm I, it really should not be that big so if I click backup now now if you it started it's backing up my data and the size will change here or should change here uh, since it's not done we're gonna wait uh, there is no lights on the drive that will indicate other than that that I can feel a little vibration inside uh, this drive I wish I could show you but I don't want to make a, a video from my phone because when I stitch the two videos um, it like if it's only a 1 GB file the the stitching um, software um, does something to it that the file becomes 32 GB or like you know, some crazy number 16 GB 20 GB and I think that's a waste of uh, YouTube storage space that uh, I'm I'm saving a file of 20 GB that really could be you know only a 1 GB so if I can avoid it I do that I don't uh, stitch uh, two videos I'm I put them in parts and that's why some of my videos they are in parts because uh, one was made over the screen capture the other one was made through the mm, uh, phone so while it's doing I can pause the video because uh, there is really nothing going on on the screen that you sh uh, should see or are willing to so let me pause the video once it's done I will show you so I noticed um, when I went to the my passport there's a folder here it's about 86 GB it's not changing the size right now uh, but like uh, from my previous video you know that I like to keep an eye through the toss manager um, so that's how if even if it's not showing anything over here I can still see that this my e drive that is right here it's being heavily used so you know I can wait for the process to finish I know it's working so I'm gonna give it a few more minutes I just wanted to show you so let's uh, wait for it to be complete so it looks like it's done uh, you can see the size is about 90.6 GB um, let's close this out it's already 0% and 1% where it's supposed to be so you see it's 90.6 GB one thing I want to show you is that this device will be used only for backups if um, you want to use an entirely different one you uh, like um, you want to keep a permanent copy somewhere and then you you just want to keep it and attach another one you have to click on here stop using this one so you can attach another one they say here explicitly over here and it will not delete any dry device uh, files that have already been saved so now nah, you should know that let's close it out and go to the file history folder and see what it saved it basically that's my computer name so it saved the configuration I think it's like uh, uh, the structure and its data 
dollar sign has uh, I don't know what this video is all right so data and C has the user Imran and that's all my files everything in there if I go to documents I probably have is everything so you see this is how um, it saves it I think the size is so big because of the download folder yes 32 GB <coughs> so if I um, so if for some reason you want to uh, there's a folder that's separate uh, on site that you want to add uh, and take backup of that folder you can add that folder for here remember we excluded the folder uh, which we did not want our backup uh, system to be backed up uh, we can add uh, special folders that are on the side somewhere on another drive that we save files on uh, from there we can um, add them and they will be regularly backed up uh, if you want to restore for example um, you want to restore all your files you can use this thing restore files from our current backup so basically it will go and select the drive and you see it's just, this is all of mine this is home and this backup was created at this time if we go here you see the time share 1224 that is the backup it's found so if I back up like tomorrow and day after tomorrow I'm gonna add that as well so you will see there will be different ones here all right thank you for watching if you like this video please share comment subscribe and you have a good night